Hello beautiful people, welcome to Garden Talks or welcome back. In this video I will be sharing with you all where I get my herbs from, where I buy them from, which is mainly online and sometimes in person. If you are new to my channel, I like to share videos on herbs, magic mushrooms, and gardening. So if you're interested in any of those topics, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my new content coming out. Okay, so where you get your herbs from is very, very important. A lot of people ask me where I get my herbs from. When it comes to herbs, you want fresh, high quality, organic, as close to the source as possible like if you were to pick it from a fresh organic herb plant that's what you want to get as close to as possible right because you want to take the healing benefits that these herbs are here to give us right and so you are most likely going to be extracting those benefits from the herb by either steeping it or somehow letting it soak in something right so either way we are extracting from the herb we want those benefits right so you want to make sure that you have the highest quality because that's kind of the purpose of bringing natural medicine into your life you want the highest quality right so it is very important of where you get your herbs because if you pay attention you may notice that some of the herbs out there are not actually organic right? Especially if you're shopping online, it might say all natural or 100% all natural, straight from the source. I don't know, all these little lingos that don't necessarily mean that the herb is grown organic, right? Organic, very important, okay? Herbs are not always cheap. They are an investment. I think it's totally worth it, okay? It's totally worth it to buy the highest quality as opposed to something lower quality because your body is consuming all of this, all of this, all of this. With that being said, you need to take a moment and put some thought into this. Okay, ask yourself what the purpose of these herbs are for, okay? And... If you are not aware, I did make a video on how to put together your at-home herbal apothecary if you're looking for some tips on that. There's a few different places where you can buy your herbs from, which I will be sharing with you. And also I want to kind of share my screen and show you what I mean by when you are buying online and give you an example of an herb that I would buy versus one that I wouldn't online. The reason for this is because if you are like myself, I am an entrepreneur, I have an herbal business, and so I need to buy herbs in bulk, okay? And I don't necessarily always have the time, energy, or space to go in person to my local herbarium to go get my hands on these herbs, right? So I, ne I need to do this online. Figure out the amount that you are going to need to have. Before you invest in herbs, ask yourself what you need them for. As I said, I am a business owner. I need them in bulk. So I already know that I need them in bulk. This is going to help me budget and it's going to help me be aware of where to buy my herbs. If you're an, an, an individual who is looking for some herbs to have like an ounce worth or a few grams just to have on hand when you want some tea or whatever remedy you like to cook up, then you want a small amount. You know, you're not gonna be buying in bulk. Three main places where you can get your herbs from. Number one is grow your own. Grow your own source. This is really easy. Again, I share videos on gardening and at this moment because of where I live, I share videos on balcony gardening and I have been growing herbs on my balcony since I moved here and even before that. So it's very, very easy 
to learn how to grow herbs even if you are not a gardener or not into that um highly encourage you to look into it or even just like go to your store and buy one herb plant and like get started with it and see where it takes you because growing your own source has to be one of the most rewarding and beautiful feelings honestly especially if you are like a tea lover like picking some fresh leaves it's an amazing feeling okay so number one is that you can grow your own number two is you can buy them in person right there's herb shops i'm sure pretty much everywhere here we have a local herbarium you walk in there they literally have every single herb that you can think of everywhere and someone will weigh it out for you and there you go the third option is that you can buy online there's a ton of places where you can buy online there are a lot of small businesses there are a lot of platforms where you can find small businesses such as Etsy, which is where I have one of my herbal businesses. So Etsy is one, you know, Shopify. There's a lot of uh, platforms where you can buy online. There are a lot of other small businesses that have their own website. If you know them personally or you find out about, you know, this online shop, right? And then there's also Amazon. I think Amazon is amazing because if you have Prime membership, if you are a business owner, you know how to work it, then it's a great deal. All right, so you can either grow your own, you can buy them in person, whether it be at little wholesome shops or a street vendor of some sort. And then number three is that you can buy them online. It doesn't matter where you, you buy them online, they arrive to your mill. It doesn't matter what option you choose, obviously, you can mix and match, you can do all of them. I do all of them, I grow my own. I support my local herbarium and I also support small businesses on Etsy and I also purchase from Amazon. A lot of options, I, I do them all. So if you're growing your herbs, you wanna make sure again that they're organic, whether you start from seed or a little starter plant or a cutting, you want to make sure that it is high quality, okay? If you buy from your local shop from an herbarium, most likely they're going to have high quality stuff. They might be a little pricier though, especially if they're like a small, wholesome, like small business owned shop because well they're they're a small business you know what i mean so some of those are herbariums i feel like they are a little pricier but it's like you're getting the help from someone working there you know you get it's kind of an experience of its own to go get your own herbs to get them weighed out you know you're making that exchange and it's fun you know but when you are someone who needs in bulk then that might not be the best option for you so then when it comes to shopping online that's where you really you really have to be careful because you really got to read the descriptions on these things when it comes to etsy and small business owners not only on etsy but other platforms it's kind of harder to determine who is actually what I like to call a wholesome shop, someone with integrity, someone who offers what they say they are actually offering, right? Someone who actually delivers what they have posted, right? A seller on a, a platform such as Etsy can basically put up a listing of whatever they like, but it may not be true. You don't always know if it is actually what it says it is. Someone can say that it's organic and it may not be. So you kind of have to do like some diving, look at the shop's reviews and look at the quality of, you know, their, what they are selling, you know? Now, when it comes to Amazon, I really enjoy Amazon. Honestly, it's one of my favorite places to buy in bulk because there are a few um, companies that I like to buy from from there. When it comes to Amazon specifically, again, just scroll all the way to the bottom and make sure that you read people's reviews. People are really good with this, leaving their reviews with pictures and stuff. When it comes to herbs, you'll notice that quality herb is if you are buying dry leaves then you want to make sure that 
what you get is mainly dry leaves and not a bunch of stems or crap you know because a lot of the times if you buy from amazon you scroll down the reviews you'll you'll see that um you know someone will say like oh I, re I receive a bunch of sticks instead of leaves you know so the quality may not be there so that's why you gotta dive deep a little make sure you read the comments and the reviews because most of the time they're pretty accurate it might be like pretty straightforward i hope it's helpful i hope these tips are are helping you in some way those are my tips on where you can get your hands on some quality herbs and where i personally get my herbs from so i know for a fact that these places are legit right grow your own learn how to grow your own i highly encourage you to like tap into some of my videos and for sure my upcoming videos so i'll be sharing some some information and showing you like how it is possible to grow herbs in a small space for example a small apartment also i want to note one thing that I don't have specific companies or shops that I'm going to recommend you on where to buy from because something that I've also found, especially on Amazon, is that some of these sellers eventually discontinue what they sell for whatever reason or it just disappears. So you never know. But also, I, I'm just not sponsored by anyone and... There's a lot of different shops that you can support. So it really depends on like the amount that you want and what your budget is. So you can go ahead and find what shops work best for you based on the quality and their reviews. Honestly, that's the best way to go about it. If you have any tips on where you get your herbs from, please make sure to drop a comment below let us know where you like to get your herbs from if you have any questions or comments again comment below and subscribe to my channel i look forward to sharing more content with you all thank you so much for being here and staying connected